we have earth and we have moon if we have to launch a spaceship from the surface of the earth we need to find what is the minimum work that has to be performed to bring it to the surface of the moon slowly so it should not go and ram into the moon it should just land very softly on the surface of the moon so in order to do that for the whole path from a to c what should be the minimum work done we are going to break this journey into two parts so up to the point here where the net field is zero so if we launch it with a sufficient velocity that it just reaches this point so after that it will be captured under the moon's gravitational field and once it is just about the near the surface then we will again release the gases to slow down the spacecraft and it will land softly on the moon so in two process we are doing the work so first is when we are giving initial energy to the rocket so that kinetic energy of the rocket that will be the work done for the path a to b and from b until it reaches the near the surface of the moon there is no work done but after that the spacecraft needs to be retarded its velocity needs to be uh, needs to get to zero so for that again we need to release some gases so that will be the second work done so we need to add that work done and this kinetic energy to get the total minimum work needed so let's talk about path a to b so for for it to reach the point b how much energy it should have so for that we are going to use this assumption that uh, point b is pretty far from both the earth and the moon compared to the radius of both earth and moon so we can say that the potential at point b which is uh, minus gme by ab minus gmm by bc so mass of earth and mass of moon so let's uh, assume that this ab and bc are quite high which means the potential at point b is zero which is same as potential at infinity which means that the energy for this rocket to reach this point is same as energy this rocket needs to go to infinity which is half m into v escape hole square so that is the first kinetic energy of this rocket such that it reaches the point b so now let, let's read everything what we have discussed so let the net force on the spaceship is zero at b so potential at b is this which we are approximating to zero as distances a b and b c are quite large now during a to b the minimum work done is the kinetic energy given to the spaceship at a such that it just reaches point b of zero potential same as infinity so it must be given escape velocity so work done from a to b is equal to half m v e square so we are assuming the mass of rocket to be m and v escape we know is root 2 gm by r so solving that we get the work done during ab minimum work is gmme by re now similarly so its velocity is uh, its potential is zero here and when it's about to fall to the moon surface then its velocity will also be escape velocity of the moon just like escape velocity of the earth it reaches point of zero potential then from point of zero potential it reaches the surface of the moon that time its velocity will be escape velocity of the moon so similarly from b to c its velocity v naught is again escape velocity of the moon which is root 2 g m m by r m here was m e by r e now after that the spaceship needs to be retarded to zero velocity for a soft landing so let's discuss how much work needs to be done by gases to do exactly that so we have a rocket which is about the about to hit the surface of the moon and that time its velocity has discussed its escape velocity of the moon which is root 2 gmm by rm 
so this is two moments before hitting the moon now just one moment before hitting the moon these gases are released so let's say m gas is released with v gas so these gases are released for a soft landing which means the velocity of spacecraft is now almost zero so work done during bc so up to this point up from b to almost hitting the moon there's no work to be done no external work is done and only after that the work is done so total work for bc is the kinetic energy given to the gases these gases that retard the spaceship for a soft landing at moon so now we can do momentum conservation so initially the momentum is mv naught and final momentum is m gas into v gas because this is zero so mv naught is equal to mg into vg now we need to find kinetic energy of the gases so kinetic energy of the gases is half mg vg square this doesn't help us because we don't know mg and we don't know vg but we have this relation to so to make use of this relation let's write kinetic energy of the rocket because that we know we know m we know v naught so kinetic energy of the rocket is half m v naught square so we'll take m v naught out from here and we'll take mg vg out I, out means we'll just separate it a bit so now we know mv0 is equal to mgvg so we can simplify this as kv0 and kvg some constant k so we got rid of mg now we still have vg to deal with so we need to get rid of that also so for that we are going to see about this equation again see mass of the gases is obviously less than mass of the rocket and if this equality needs to hold that means velocity of gas gases is much more than velocity of the rocket just before it hits so again mg is less than m which means vg is more than v0 and if vg is more than v0 that means kinetic energy of the gases is more than kinetic energy of the rocket so that's what i have written here so you can read this later if you want so whatever i have explained that only i have written so we have arrived that arrived at the our our point that key kinetic energy of the gases is more than kinetic energy of the rocket and what we need is kinetic energy of the gases so that is work done during bc that is kinetic energy given to the gases and we need minimum kinetic energy given to the gases so kinetic energy of the gases is more than kinetic energy of the rocket so minimum ke of the gas is ke of the rocket so minimum work done during bc is equal to kinetic energy of the rocket which is half m into v not square so sk velocity of moon which gives this so this is the minimum work done during bc for a soft landing and this is the minimum work done during ab such so to launch it from the earth's surface so when we add that we get the total minimum work so we solve that and we get our answer this so you can see that uh, the energy is same if you launch it from the moon back to the earth so either way the uh, i mean if you so if you want to launch a spaceship to the moon and want to get it back half the half the fuel needs to we need to get it to the moon minimum and the half of that should be left to get back to the earth a lot of interesting stuff in this problem so if you want you can just read step by step and you will understand everything or just rewatch the video all right